Great licks. Thank you. How do you get them? I used to do aerobics till I dropped. Then I found Thigh Master. Every single time you squeeze Thigh Master, you strengthen and tone right where you need it. So it's easy to squeeze, squeeze your way to shapely hips and thighs. Easy, it really works, and it makes life fair. After all, we may not have been born with great legs, but now we can look like we were. <laughs> What's happening guys? It's cold, it's windy, it's snowing, it's crazy. I got something special, hopefully it works. We picked up something fancy, fancy. It apparently snowed in my garage. Apparently, it was, it, snow got blue all over here. Like all over here. It's crazy. I'm gonna try something new. I got just picked up something from Home Depot. Um, Cause I don't want the work to stop. I just want to, I don't know, keep going. Hold it down. Where are you like? Oh my God. Hold it for 30 seconds. This thing's warm, so it stays on. Hey, hello! Right now it's 20 degrees in my area, so let's see. I thought it's gonna use a lot of propane though. That's pretty sick, but I don't know how long a propane will last. I need it that warm. That's John's warm, son. Get this garage warm enough, then I can start painting. But I don't know. That's a, that's a that's a this is a lot of space to heat up. But still, that's pretty good. Like, that's pretty good. So we'll we'll see. We'll see what it's like. I might put the fan on. See if it'll blow hot air around. I'm not sure. So far we're at like nine degrees. Give or take, work it on 10. It's raised it up at, which is probably not good enough. <laughs> Definitely for like every day, just like if you, if I want to just work and have heat, that's fine. But I, I want to do it so I can heat this garage so it's just, just warm enough to paint. But it, I took it away from it was it was sitting right here kind of near the the thermostat but I wanted to like put it in the middle of the room see if it'll heat up this area like in general I put it on high for a little bit if it doesn't if it doesn't get to 30 I'll put it back on low and it doesn't feel colder it's so hard to tell just working kind of next to it like I'm perfectly warm right now but if I'm trying to actually get stuff done and heat this whole garage I guess only time will tell right at this point. I feel like it wastes a lot of propane. I don't know if that's normal. It's like not quite getting up to 30. The only thing is like up top, I have a lot of not holes, but like not sealed areas. Like this, this garage isn't very, uh, I don't know guys. What do you, 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 that was like a uh, hundred bucks. I just wanted to try it out. See if it works. It definitely works for convenience, but I don't want it for convenience. You know what I mean? Like, I'm cool with it just chilling. Like, I'm, I'm cool with being cold. I just need my car not to be cold. So I have like this, I have this one that I got as like a hand-me-down and it's broken and I see the ignition wire or the igniter wire kind of uh, ragged. I'm gonna see if I can fix it maybe. Cause if I can fix it, then I'll just use that one. Cause that one's for, for like 40,000 BTU. And that one's, I think 40, 30 to 40. But this one blows. I don't know. We'll see. Do a little test. You can see on here, right? It's gonna it shorts out. See that? Bang! So the moment of truth. The moment of truth, guys. I almost blow my face. I don't know. This seems 
a lot warmer, but probably because it's blowing around. It's definitely worth uh, worth trying out. I don't know. Yeah, it'll be interesting because it's more directional instead of radiating. It's like instead of, the other one was radiating. This one's very, very directional. But it's freaking warm. Let's see how warm it heats up the garage. I can get down with it, though, for sure. And today's video is just me playing with... I'm so pissed off my, my microphone was off. I was... It was hilarious. I almost blew up my face, but it's all good. Um, yeah, we got heat. And it's not even that bad. It's pretty, pretty warm. to put my trans in by myself. It's really, really hard. I just, uh, it's, too, it's really late. I don't feel like um, messing with it anymore. I'm close, it's in there. I just gotta align it. I need an extra hand. It's kind of really hard to do it by yourself, like 100% by yourself on the floor. Um, if you have done it, kudos to you because I'm trying to figure out like, is it possible to put trans in while the car's barely off the ground by yourself, two jacks, two hands, holla at your boy. The garage hang, um, getting my heat on is good. It roughly like, it's probably, it raises it like 10 degrees no matter what. It just stays around there. But it's, it is warmer than um, the average. It's not a sauna. Um, so, yeah, see? Frozen. Everything's frozen, so. But, at least we fixed it. I'm pretty pumped up about that. That'll get me $100 back, because this bad boy was 100 bucks, so. So yeah, I guess I can adjust the heat by how much propane's coming in. And it seems to work right there. Don't move it, at all. I think it doesn't have an on switch. You just plug it in and it just goes. That's kind of weird, but. I'm pretty pumped up that it works, so. Either way, feels good in here. I'm pretty pumped up. I wanted to get the trans in so bad. I want to get the trans in so bad. I just, I just need an extra hand. I need the homies to come through. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna go back inside though. That's enough, that's enough work for me. Hold on. Don't look. What do you got? No, don't look. What do you got there? Don't look. You got soupies? Watch it, watch it, there's chicken in there. All right, guys, that is it. I'm gonna start editing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's kind of just me tinkering around in the garage. I hope you have a wonderful day. It's Friday. Gosh, this week goes so fast. I don't know. I'm not saying I'm gonna do daily anymore, but I don't know how what my new schedule is gonna, or what I want my new schedule as. I definitely wanna keep, keep trying and like not give up and keep pushing, but at the same time, like for 2018, one of my biggest goals is to balance, do a better job of balancing life. Like have my priorities a little different rather than, you know, enjoy the time with the fam squad and enjoy the moment. And uh, so yeah, I'm not a, uh, not sure what what uh what what the future is gonna hold but i got some work to do i just remembered 50. i got it in the time so holla at your boy guys thank you so much thanks for everyone that ordered the we don't quit stickers the we don't quit stickers um i do appreciate it i have to send a couple out still so if you didn't get your order yet I'm um, in the process. They should be sent out tomorrow. So, shameless plug. Let your boy go check out becausedaddy.com. We have some cool stuff. We just got a new jacket. If you guys want to see the New Year's video at the end, um, I kind of wish I ended that video differently, but that's the point. Um, at the end, it shows the newest jacket. Go check it out. Instagram, all that good stuff. So, holla at your boy, son. Yeah. Happy Friday. Hope you guys are having a good day. College boy, sad. And nothing's ever made me cry as much as you, I swear. Your smile gives me motivation and some new ideas. My worst fear was always you not knowing who I am. Cause I've been on the road dream chasing for you out here. I was the first thing that you opened your eyes to. And the last one that you said goodnight to, I went home and cried to. And I bawled my eyes out and then watched you. Glad I got you, that's a blatant fact. And every negative thing I said, I swear I'll take it back.